What's going on guys, it's Anthony Bruno and this is absolutely terrible. There's no other way to say it. Some very sad news in the NFL today as former wide receiver Vincent Jackson was found dead at the age of 38. We're going to update you on the situation as well as all of the reaction pouring in on social media from some of his former teammates and the rest of the NFL community. And we're also going to take a look back at Vincent Jackson's great NFL career. So let's go. According to the police report earlier today on Monday, February 15th, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office said it was investigating the death of former NFL wide receiver Vincent Jackson, who was found dead in his room at the Homewood Suites Hotel in Brandon, Florida at the age of 38. He was found at 11.30 a.m. by a housekeeper and there were no apparent signs of trauma. According to hotel staff, Jackson, who's a South Tampa resident, checked into the hotel a little over a month ago on January 11th and had been staying there since that date. On February 10th, Jackson's family members called the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office to report that Jackson had gone missing. Then two days later, on February 12th, the sheriff's office located Jackson at Homewood Suites and spoke with him and after assessing his well-being, the missing person's case was cancelled. The police report added that the Hillsborough County Medical Examiner's Office will determine the cause of death and that this remains an active and open investigation. So obviously we still don't have full clarity on the situation, but rest in peace to Vincent Jackson who leaves us way too soon at the age of 38 and our condolences to his family, friends, former teammates and coaches, and anyone else who was impacted by this tragic event. Sheriff Chad Cronister released a statement saying, My heart aches for the many loved ones Vincent Jackson leaves behind, from his wife and children to the Buccaneers nation that adored him. Mr. Jackson was a devoted man who put his family and community above everything else. Football aside, he touched countless lives there was Jackson in Action 83 Foundation. We shared a passion for supporting military families, and three years ago, Jackson was even made an honorary deputy by the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office to recognize his dedication to the community. He will be sorely missed by not only football fans across the country, but also the people here in Hillsborough County who reap the benefits of his generous contributions. And reaction has been pouring in from around the NFL. The Chargers, a franchise Jackson played seven seasons with, released the following statement. We are shocked and deeply saddened by news of Vincent Jackson's sudden passing. Vincent was a fan favorite, not only for his Pro Bowl play on the field, but for the impact he made on the community off of it. The work he has done on behalf of military families through his foundation in the years since his retirement has been an inspiration to all of us. We simply cannot believe he's gone and our hearts go out to his wife Lindsay, their children, his parents, former teammates and everyone whose lives were touched by having known Vincent. Jackson's former Chargers teammate Sean Merriman took to Twitter posting a picture from when they were drafted together in 2005 saying, you come in as teammates and you leave as brothers. Some things are hard to understand and hard to figure out why, but I'm not questioning God's plans. I'm going to miss those occasional calls to call me soft and me saying, come say it to my face, sweetie pie. Love, VJ. Jackson's other former team, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, also put out a statement. We are shocked and saddened to hear the terrible news regarding the loss of Vincent Jackson. During his five seasons with our franchise, Vincent was a consummate professional who took a great deal of pride in his performance on and off the football field. Vincent was a dedicated father, husband, businessman, philanthropist who made a deep impact on our community through his unyielding advocacy for military families supported by the Jackson in Action 83 Foundation. He was a three-time Pro Bowl selection for his accomplishments on the field, but his greatest achievements as a Buccaneer were the four consecutive nominations he earned as our Walter Payton Man of the Year. Our deepest condolences go out to his wife, Lindsay, and the entire Jackson family. And for those who don't remember or were maybe a little bit too young to watch him play, at 6'5", 230 pounds, 
Vincent Jackson was an absolute beast. When Jackson was with the Chargers, Phillip Rivers always knew if he needed a big play, he could launch it downfield, and big number 83 would always have a chance to come down with the football. After an amazing college career at Northern Colorado, Vincent Jackson was drafted in the second round, 61st overall by the San Diego Chargers in the 2005 NFL Draft. During his seven years with the Chargers, Jackson had three 1,000-yard seasons and 37 touchdown catches in 92 games. And in 2007, the year the Chargers made it to the AFC Championship game against the New England Patriots, Jackson led all players in the playoffs that year with 300 receiving yards in three games, including 18 receptions and two touchdown catches. After a great run with the Chargers, Jackson signed a five-year contract for over $55 million with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 2012 as an unrestricted free agent, where he continued to make big plays and score touchdowns. Jackson made an immediate impact with the Bucs, finishing fifth in the NFL with 1,384 receiving yards in his first season in Tampa, leading the league with 19.2 yards per reception. He had three 1,000-yard seasons as a member of the Bucs, finishing his 12-year NFL career with six 1,000-yard campaigns, 540 catches for over 9,000 yards and 57 touchdowns, and was a three-time Pro Bowl selection before playing his final season in the NFL in 2016. Jackson was never considered one of the best receivers in the game, but he was one hell of a player. During his time with the Bucs, Jackson also did a great job helping Mike Evans, who Tampa drafted in the first round back in 2014. Jackson and Evans shared a lot of the same qualities, both big body receivers who could stretch the field and make tough contested catches. Here was Jackson talking about Mike Evans in 2015 after he came off a 1,000-yard, 12-touchdown rookie season. Mike's just uh, hes a great talent, you know what I mean? Um... You know, he's, he's, a, he's a big kid, but he works hard at his craft. And uh, you can tell that he wants to continue to improve um, by no means uh, that I see at the end of that season or even starting up early um, in this offseason that any kind of complacency with him. Um, he's hungry. You know, he wants to continue to, to learn the game. Um, obviously, we're all dealing with a new offense right now, and uh, it's a new language and stuff. So it's taking a lot of time and effort, but uh, you can just tell that he's putting in that effort. And, um, you know, he wants to have another good year. As we all know, Mike Evans has gone on to be one of the best and most prolific receivers in the NFL, helping the Bucs win their second Super Bowl in franchise history this past season. So you can bet Vincent Jackson loved to see Evans and the Bucs take home the Lombardi Trophy. Evans also took to Twitter saying, VJax, thank you for everything. I love you, big bro. Praying for your family. Rest in paradise. And here's what his longtime quarterback, Philip Rivers, said about him in 2011. He's a guy uh, that uh, not many that can make the plays he makes. He's a great teammate, guy that works hard. He practices the way you're supposed to practice. Vincent Jackson was clearly a great football player. He had amazing physical gifts, 6'5", 230 pounds, 12 years in the NFL. He put up great numbers and was very successful. But it's not just about what he was able to do on the field. Based on all accounts, it also seems that Vincent Jackson was a great teammate, a guy that just went about it the right way, who had awesome ties to the community, who was just a very good person, and you're seeing it through all the reaction we're seeing around the NFL community. So once again, rest in peace to Vincent Jackson, who leaves us way too soon at the age of 38. Condolences to his family, his friends, everybody else impacted by this tragic event. It's something that you never want to talk about. But saying all that, it's also good that we get to celebrate the life and career of Vincent Jackson. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please let us know in the comments, especially if you're a Chargers or Bucks fan, about all the great memories you have of Vincent Jackson's great career. We would love to hear it. Let's celebrate his career. He was a phenomenal football player and great person. So thank you guys so much, and if you haven't done so already, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you know exactly when we post some new content. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time.